Meet Henry Chukwe Mekam, a graduate of microbiology. He's on his way to a public cyber cafe to search and apply for jobs. He's been doing this since he graduated in 2008. Henry blames his challenges on polio that crippled his legs. Um, when you go for job search, you go for interview, people see you. Ah, yeah. Sometimes uh, they nod their head and, you know, I, feel, uh, I don't think this person could do this job. I don't think he's fit enough for this job, you know. But they might not communicate that to me, but uh, the expression, you know, will tell me that uh, something is wrong somewhere. Henry's ordeal could have been avoided with just a few drops of polio vaccines. That's why women like Amaka are determined to avail their children and complete the required doses of polio vaccines. I don't want my baby to come down with any illnesses, so I want to prevent that. Poliomyelitis is an infectious disease caused by a virus. The symptoms include life-threatening paralysis. Because this virus is stable, it can pass through the um, stomach without being destroyed by the acid. So it now gets to the small intestine and gets um, multiplied there, gets into the blood. And because it has strong affinity for the nerves, it goes to the nerves. And you know the nerve is what controls the movement and all that, and the muscles. So by the time it destroys the, those nerves that control the muscles, paralysis can come. Recently, a six-year plan was unveiled during the Global Vaccine Summit in Abu Dhabi to eradicate polio. According to the Global Polio Eradication Initiative, in 2012, Nigeria recorded 122 cases of polio compared to 58 in Pakistan and 37 in Afghanistan. To ensure that Nigeria achieves the objectives of the Global Vaccines Action Plan, the Nigerian Academy of Science established a Vaccines and Immunization Advisory Committee. In other countries, three, four, five high quality vaccination exercises yielded the end of polio. But in Nigeria, we've done like 100. And it is because of the poor quality of those activities that we're where we are today. This immunization section of the clinic has just closed for the day. A while ago, over 100 women were here with their children to be immunized against vaccine-preventable diseases like polio, yellow fever, and measles. Oral polio vaccines are given to children at birth, six weeks, 10 weeks, and 14 weeks in two drops per dose. However, some children are deprived of this life-saving opportunity because of the influence of anti-polio campaigners. Vivian Irikefe, TBC News, Lagos.